اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم I am Dr. Hamad Khalil from University of Education at Attack Campus Assalamu alaikum class I hope you will find and will enjoy good health This is the online lecture series for the course of partial differential equation This is the first lecture. Uh, in this lecture, we will discuss the following topics. That uh, what what is basically a feeding. What is feeding? We will discuss some notations. We will list some uh, well-known feedings. Uh, uh, we will also discuss the objective of this course and uh, the last topic will be the classification classification of PDs So let's start with the uh, the first topic. What is a feed? An equation uh, which contains the partial derivative is called the feed. Uh, just like ordinary differential equations, where the unknown functions depends only on one variable. In partial differential equations, the unknown function depends on several variables. An equation, an equation which contains, which contains partial derivative, is called PD is. Let's discuss it with an example. Look at this equation dy over dt is equal to some function of t and y, for example, y plus t. So there are two types of quantities in this equation. One is the independent variable, which is the variable t, and the other one is the dependent variable y, which depends on t. Okay. The solution of this equation means that we have to find a function y of t which upon substitution in this equation um, this equation will result to identity means if we substitute this y in this equation so it will satisfy this equation okay this is the ordinary differential equation here the dependent variable just only depends on the independent variable t which is only one variable okay in partial differential equations, this independent variable t must be 2, 3, 4, or 5, or several variables. For example, uh, partial u or partial t is equal to partial u or partial x. Now, this is a, <coughs> a typical partial partial differential equation uh, because there is there is two independent variable t and x, and the dependent variable u depends on t. And depends on x also so the solution of this equation is actually y of t well, means a function of single variable uh, the solution of this PDE will be u is equal to u of t and x means the quantity u depends on t and depends on x also once we found the solution of this problem we will subs if we substitute this solution into this equation so this equation will be resulted into identity means this function satisfies this equation. Okay. So this is basically a partial differential equation. 
A partial differential equation is an equation which contains partial derivative um, uh, with respect to two variables, three variables, or four variables. It is seen. We will we will use some notations in this course. We will use u t u subscript t to represent the derivative of u with respect to t partial derivative of u with respect to t. We will use u x to represent the partial derivative of u with respect to x. Similarly, u double x is basically the second derivative of u with respect to x. Now you may know that what is u t x. This is uh, partial square u or partial t partial x. Look at the order of these two terms. Okay, we will use these notations uh, throughout this course to represent these quantities. Okay. Now we will <coughs> now we will now we will now list some well-known PDEs. The, the first and the most simplest equation is u t is equal to u double x. This equation is called heat conduction equation. Heat equation. This this equation basically models the flow of heat um, in a in a rod or in a or in a solid object. Uh, later on in this lecture in these in this series we will learn how to model this equation and why is this called why this equation is called the heat equation basically so this is called the heat equation in one dimension because there is a uh, one time variable and one thus uh, spatial variable means space um, this is what this is the equation in one dimensional space this is the two dimensional the two dimensional heat equation now you can easily guess that what will be the three dimensional heat equation so of course uh, sorry this is u double y the three dimensional heat equation will be something like this this u double x plus u double y plus u double z so these are called heat equations. We will study these equations in a, in a very extensive details. This equation is this is called the wave equation. We will also <coughs> we will also study this equation in detail. Similarly one important PD is U double T is equal to U double X plus alpha U T plus beta U square. This is this is called the telegraph equations. We will study all these equations in these lectures in the upcoming lectures. Now <clears throat> what will be the objective of this course? The objective of this course is basically learn objective of the course. The, the first and the important objective of this course is to learn how to formulate formulate a PD from a physical phenomena for example we have um, we, we, we have we have all we have discussed earlier that, that this is the heat so <clears throat> our first objective will be to learn how to formulate a PDE from a physical phenomena <coughs> Earlier, we have studied that U T is equal to U double X is a heat equation. So we 
around if there is a heat conduction problem in hand then how can we design this equation from the heat conduction phenomena how can we model the two dimensional heat equation similarly we will analyze the wave propagation phenomena or the oscillation of waves in some strings and we will learn how to design this equation the second <coughs> the second objective which is also important for this course is to learn how to solve a given partial differential equation means if you are given with an equation of the form partial u or partial t is equal to partial square u or partial x square then how can we solve this equation means what is the method to find the solution the solution function u of t x the method of calculating this <coughs> this equation now we will discuss the classification of partial differential equations partial differential equations are classified according to many things six basic classifications are the first one order of the pde order of pdes the order of the pde is the order of the highest partial derivative in the equation order of pd is the order of highest highest partial derivative for example this is the first order partial differential equation you can construct other examples also this is a this is a second order partial differential equation um means this is also this is also second order pd <clears throat> the the order of this equation is the order of this equation is 3 because the highest order of the derivative in this equation is 3 third derivative of u with respect to x so we can classify pds according to the the order of the equation the next parameter for the classification is the number of variables as we know the number of variables in ordinary differential equation is 1 so the number of variables in partial differential equations will be 2 3 4 or um, more than 2 the number of variables of this equation is two variable this is a two variable this is a two variable second order partial differential equation in this equation the number of variable is basically 3 t x and y so this is the second order partial differential equations having three variables second order and three variables okay we can we can also uh, classification classify the pdes according to their structure uh, i mean okay, if they are linear or they are non linear so uh, linearity property is also important linear pdes if the partial 
partial differential equation is said to be linear if the um, partial differential equation linear PDs are those PDs in which the unknown function and its derivative appear in linear fashion means they are not multiplied together or they are squared or they are cubed for example more precisely a second order um, for example for example this is a linear PD ut plus u double x is equal to t plus x this is a linear PD because the dependent variable appears in a linear fashion there is not the product of u and its derivative or there is not there is there is no square of the dependent variable u t plus u into u x is equal to 0 now this is not the linear equation because the dependent variable and its derivative the product of dependent variable and its derivative is present so this is non-linear non-linear PD and this one is a linear PD so I will repeat linear differential equations are those equations in which the dependent variables and all its derivative of yours in linear fashion there is no product of u t u x there is no product of u into u x there is not terms like terms like this one sine of u t power u these terms must be absent in the equation so this is a specific type of linear pde and this is a non-linear non pde similarly this is also a non-linear pde u double t is equal to u double x plus e power u <clears throat> our focus in this course will be on the second order partial differential equation uh, second order linear partial differential equation can be um, more precisely written as This is a second order <coughs> linear partial differential equation. There are some quantities A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. These are constants, or they, they may depend on the x and y. Um, the only one independent variable is u. This equation can be classified into three three different uh, three different classes. The, the first one is uh, parabolic second order parabolic equation those equations are parabolic for which this estimate is zero if we have given an equation of this form and we calculated this quantity b square means the the coefficient of u x y minus 4 a c if we analyze these three terms and we calculate this estimate and this estimates results in zero so this equation will be called a parabolic equation the another is hyperbolic hyperbolic equation Hyperbolic equations are those equations for which the estimate b square minus 4ac is positive and if this estimate is negative then the equation is called elliptical equation. If this estimate b square minus 4ac is less than 0. So a second order linear partial differential equations can be categorized into three different classes the first one is parabolic equation for which this estimate is zero hyperbolic equation for which this estimate 
this estimate is positive and if it is negative then this is the elliptical PDE. This equation is homogeneous. This equation is called homogeneous equation if the term g is equal to 0. If this term is 0 then this equation is called homogeneous equation. If this is not 0 then it is called non-homogeneous equation. One another another important concept here is the whether that these um, quantities A, B, C, D, E, if they may be constant or they may be variable. So if they are constant, then the equation is called second order. Linear. PDE then this is called a second or uh, linear PDE with constant coefficient and similarly if these are not constant these are variables then this equation is called a second order linear PDE with variable coefficient we have studied three uh, different classes the parabolic equations hyperbolic equations elliptical equations the classification of this equation into these three categories based depends on this quantity. You have to carefully calculate this quantity from this equation and after that you will decide that whether the equation is parabolic, elliptical or hyperbolic. We can also say that this is homogeneous if g is 0. If this quantity is 0 then this is a homogeneous equation. Uh, if this is not equal to 0 then this is non-homogeneous equation. Okay. This equation is called this equation is called second R equation with constant coefficient. If all the coefficients involved here are constant, A, B, C, D, E, F, G belongs to R real numbers, then this is called constant coefficient. If these things are not constant but they depends on the independent variable. Then, if they, if these if these variable coefficients depends on the independent variable, then this equation is called a second order PDE with variable coefficient. Now, let us do some examples. Now, let's do some examples. We are given equation u x is equal to u double y. So this is basically a second order, second order linear, second order linear PDE. Now is it parabolic, hyperbolic or elliptical? We will decide it by comparing this equation with this one. So we will write this equation in this format. 0 multiplied by u double x plus 0 multiplied by u x y plus minus u double y 1 minus 1 multiplied by u double y plus 0 multiplied by u x plus 0 multiplied by e u y plus 0 multiplied by u is equal to 0 this equation is basically this one now what is the value of a a is 0 what is the value of B? B is 0. What is the value of C? So this quantity B square minus 4 AC is definitely 0. So this equation is parabolic equation. This is parabolic equation. Okay. Now look at the term G. G is 0. So this is homogeneous partial differential equation. So 
So orally speaking, we can say that this is a second order partial differential equations of parabolic type and homogeneous. Now consider this equation u double x is equal to u u double y sorry u double x is equal to u double y of course this is second order equation in order to decide that it is parabolic hyperbolic or elliptical we will compare this equation with this standard format so we will write this equation in this form okay so we will write it as u double x plus 0 minus u double y plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. I have written these zeros just for your understanding. Okay. When there is no complexity, we will not write these estimates. We will just observe these two quantities. So the value of A is 1. B so comparing these this equation with the standard form we found that the value of a is 1 b is 0 c is equal to minus 1 so b square minus 4 ac is equal to 4 so this is greater than 0 it means this equation is hyperbolic equation this this is elliptical you can prove it by yourself just write just compare the coefficients of this equation with this one and you will no doubt and you will reach to the conclusion Consider this equation y multiplied by u double x plus u double y is equal to 0. Comparing this coefficient, we see a is equal to y, b is equal to 0, c is equal to 1. So b square minus 4 a c is equal to minus 4 y now the classification of this equation depends on the variable on the domain of y means if y is negative then minus 4 multiplied by y is positive this is three cases if y is less than 0 then minus 4 multiplied by y is greater than 0. So, in the domain where y is less than 0, this, this, equation, this equation is basically hyperbolic equation. Okay? In the domain of y where the value of y is 0, the equation is parabolic. And if y is greater than 0, then the equation is elliptical. Means if we can see it on the domain at this point, the equation is parabolic. At this point, the equation is elliptical. And at this point, the equation is hyperbolic.